Hi everyone, this is Alex with Beam Today we're going to be looking into stairs in Revit. The idea of this video is just to show you how to create a functional basic stair. Um, and I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks and I'm going to show you how to create the stair shaft. If you're not going into more detail, then you can visit the Balkan Architects channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to go in detail and railings and finishes and things like that. But the intention of this video is a functional stair that works the way it's intended to. See you in Revit. So I'm standing here at the main entrance of the Bimirov Research Center and it turns out that these doors are both locked. So what I have to do is walk all the way to the southeast corner and try to go up the stairs. But it turns out that we don't have stairs yet. So let's go ahead and fix that. For that we can go to level 1 and then let's study this a little bit. So if you're exiting through here, then definitely you need to keep this clear and probably you need an intermediate landing here to go from level one to level two. So let's cut a quick section just to you know have a good idea of what's uh, going on. And let's flip the section. Let's take a little bit less depth and let's open up our section and let's remember that level one is at zero feet and level two is at 12 feet so i have to go up to the intermediate landing and then up again to get to the main landing on level two so that would be a total of 12 feet so let's keep that in mind let's come to level one and in order to add the stair you can come here under the architectural tab right here under the circulation panel you click on stair and now I want to change the width of my stair to let's say three feet and eight inches and I want it to go from level one to level two so Revit is automatically calculating that the stair height is going to be 12 feet uh, and then based on the number of risers that I want for my stair it will calculate the actual riser height right it will be that total height divided by the number of risers um, and if you wanted to see where that's coming from if you go under edit type you have a maximum riser height right now it's set up at seven inches i'm going to keep that like that and i'm going to go a little bit safe so you know the actual riser height at six inches and a little bit more it sounds good to me but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the number of risers to an even number. Let's say 22, right? And that way I'm going to be able to do half of the stair this way. And notice that if I zoom out a little bit, I can see at the bottom how many risers have been created and how many are remaining. So I'm going to keep it at 11. I'm going to click and then I'm going to click like around here and then keep going until I finish right and now my stair is created I can adjust this landing a little bit so let's stretch it down a little bit maybe down to here but it would probably be a good idea since we're going through the trouble to just go all the way up to level three right so let's go here to connect levels and then I'm gonna go in my let's say east elevation uh, I'm gonna go open view and then right now I'm going from level one to level two but I can also include level three so let's go ahead and do that so I click there and I'm gonna do finish here and it's giving me this warning that says that the rail is not continuous so we'll take a look at that a little bit later for now let's go back to our level one so let's go ahead and notch that stair a little bit to the left see if we can do the whole thing I'm not sure if we can do that but let's try yeah we can so perfect that looks pretty good to me um, now let's see what happened with the stair let's go to that section I noticed that the stair was created so that's that's pretty cool pretty decent I'm not gonna spend too much time on this uh, the only problem is that if I take this wall let me hide it so we can see what the problem is so right now we have our stair but we don't have a shaft <laughs> it 
so if we go up the stair we're gonna hit our head with that floor so definitely we need to create an opening here so let's try that now think about it it makes sense if you like this kind of content you can subscribe to the channel if you click that bell you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos and if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. And for that, we can come here to level one and I have another video on architectural openings. I'll probably put it in the description so you can check it out. But for now, let's just go ahead and click shaft. And now I'm gonna select a rectangle and I want an opening from here to here and I need to specify the base offset so I think minus one foot is pretty decent maybe you know, let's, let's give it another foot just in case minus two feet and uh, the top constraint let's uh, take it all the way up to level three I don't want this stair to have access to the roof so let's just cut it at level three and Let's have a top offset just to make sure that we cut through the slab of uh, let's say two feet and now let's go ahead and finish and let's see what happened go to my 3d view again oh and that was probably not the smartest thing to do because i did the opening all the way up to the door so let's modify that that's not a big deal we just come here select our opening then we go here to edit sketch and then we definitely need a landing here so we can probably take it down to here let's see how this works we go to the 3d view that's pretty decent right so you can go up the stair you don't hit your head keep going to level three so now i see that i ended up with a hole right here i don't i don't really need that hole so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and where it says base offset i'm gonna keep this at zero and then that way you know i have my full landing here to put my floor control assemblies and everything for fire protection so that's pretty much it for now and i'm gonna go ahead and do the other stair and i'll see you later